Hey everyone, and welcome to English Learning Hub. In part one of active and passive voice series, we have learned five steps to change an active sentence to passive. In this video, we are going to learn 1. How to convert an imperative sentence to passive and 2. How to convert an active sentence with modal verb to passive. Now, let's get started. First of all, what is an imperative sentence? An imperative sentence is used to give an order or command. Advice or request. Let's have an example of order or command. Close the door. An example of advice. Buy a good dictionary. An example of request. Please turn off the light. These are the three ways in which an imperative sentence functions. Keep in mind that you is an implied subject in case of imperative sentences. For instance, you wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. As you see, we do not mention the subject, you, it is an implied subject here. Now, let's learn how to convert an imperative sentence to passive. For imperative sentences having order or command, the structure of active voice is first form of the verb plus object. Converting it to passive, the structure becomes let plus object plus be plus third form of the verb or past participle. You can also use this structure. You are ordered to plus first form of the verb plus object. For imperative sentences having advice, the structure of active voice is First form of the verb, plus object. Converting it to passive voice, the structure becomes subject, plus should, plus be, plus third form of the verb. This structure can be used as well. You are advised to, plus base form of the verb, plus object. For imperative sentences having request, the structure of active voice is please or kindly plus first form of the verb plus object. Converting it to passive, the structure becomes you are requested to plus first form of the verb plus object. Let's have some examples for each one. Bring your assignment. First form of the verb, plus object. This is an active sentence. The passive voice will be, let your assignment be brought. Let, plus object, plus be plus third form of the verb, or, past participle form. You can also use this structure. You are ordered to bring your assignment. You are ordered to, plus first form of the verb, plus object. Write the letter. Let the letter be written. Or, you are ordered to write the letter. For negative orders or commands, follow this structure. You are forbidden to. Plus first form of the verb. Plus object. For instance, don't read this book. The passive voice will be, you are forbidden to read this book. 
Now let's change imperative advice into passive. Study your lessons. It can be changed into passive in two ways. 1. Your lessons should be studied. Subject. Plus should be. Plus past participle. 2. You are advised to study your lessons. You are advised to. Plus first form of the verb plus. Object. Obey the traffic rules. The traffic rules should be obeyed. You are advised to obey the traffic rules. For changing negative form of imperative advice, we can use this structure. Do not drive this car. You are advised not to drive this car. You are advised not to. Plus verb. Plus object. And finally, let's change imperative request into passive. Please pass the salt. Please or kindly. Plus verb. Plus object. Converting to passive voice, it becomes. You are requested to pass the salt. You are requested. Plus verb. Plus object. Kindly open the door. You are requested to open the door. To change the negative form of an imperative request, we can use the following structure. Please do not disturb me. You are requested not to disturb me. You are requested not to. Plus verb. Plus object. Exercise. Kindly convert the following imperative sentences into passive in the comments below. Buy a good dictionary. Don't waste your time. Bring a glass of water. Kindly draw a picture. Don't walk barefooted. Now, let's learn how to convert an active sentence with modal verb into passive. Modal verbs include can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, and ought to. As we learned in part 1 of active and passive voice series, the structure for a passive sentence is Subject Plus be Plus past participle or third form of the verb The structure of a passive sentence with a modal verb is Subject Plus modal verb Plus be Plus past participle For example, an exam may be given by our English teacher. Remember that a modal verb is followed by the infinitive or base form of the verb. We don't add to or change the verb. Now, let's change an active sentence with a modal verb into passive. He must write a letter. Subject, plus modal, plus main verb, plus object. First, the object of active sentence, B. 
becomes the subject of passive sentence. Then, we add modal verb. Plus B. Afterwards, we look back to our main verb and use its third form or past participle form. Finally, we mention the agent through by phrase if necessary. A letter must be written by him. Subject plus modal plus B plus past participle. But what about changing a negative sentence with a modal verb like this? Michael should not buy this book. This is an active sentence. Converting it to passive voice, it becomes This book should not be bought by Michael. Subject plus modal, plus not, plus be, plus past participle. And finally, for changing an interrogative sentence with modal verb, use this structure. Will he pay the bills? This is an active sentence. Converting it to passive voice, it becomes Will the bills be paid by him? Modal plus subject plus be plus past participle. Now, let's have some more examples. Active voice with modals. Passive voice with modals. You must obey the traffic rules. The traffic rules must be obeyed. He should watch the movie. The movie should be watched. You could sell your car. Your car could be sold. He might fix the refrigerator. The refrigerator might be fixed. They cannot do it. It can't be done. Will she make a donation? Will a donation be made by her? Exercise Kindly convert the following active sentences into passive in the comments below. She may wash the clothes. He should not watch the movie. May I draw a picture? That's enough for today's lesson. In upcoming video, we will learn how to change interrogative sentences and WH questions into passive. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe because more essential content is on the way. Have a nice time.